Expand the logarithm as much as possible. Rewrite as a sum, difference, or product of logs. The natural log of the square root of x cubed times y to the negative fourth, and let's see what we can do with that. So first off, anytime I have a square root, I can rewrite that as an exponent. So I can make this x cubed times y to the negative fourth, all raised to the one half power. Then anytime I have an exponent as on the argument of a logarithm, I can pull that out as a constant multiplier. So this would be one half times the natural log of x cubed times y to the negative fourth. Next up, if I have two things multiplied in the argument of a logarithm, I can split that up into uh, two logarithms that are added. So this would be one half then I'm going to be careful to put an outside set of parentheses here. The natural log of x cubed plus the natural log of y to the negative fourth. Now each of these are arguments on, or are exponents on the arguments of logarithms. So those can come out as constant multipliers. So one half times three natural log of x minus 4 natural log of y. And then this 1 half on the outside, it looks like I could probably distribute that in and make this instead 3 halves natural log of x. And then 1 half times negative 4 would just be minus 2 natural log of y. 